We're going to the Cache River. <laughs> We're down here at the Cache River Wetlands. This is a really special place. This is a, a, the northernmost cypress swamp in the United States. When you go out here in a boat, uh, it's like stepping back in time. Uh, this ancient swamp, uh, just beautiful with the dragonflies and these uh, all the stumps and snags and all these cypress knees. Uh, it's an ancient swamp that was probably formed uh, after the last ice age. The ancient people used uh, the Cache River as their uh, it's their highway. It was their uh, trade route and uh, their place where they, they uh, used to travel. So they would make canoes out of these giant cypress trees and uh, some of the pottery that was made here at one of these uh, villages uh, about 2,000 years ago, some of the broken pieces of pottery are found over at a site in Kentucky. So they know they were using the Cache River to trade pottery thousands of years ago. So uh, people paddled the Cache River uh, for thousands of years. So basically the, the river channel runs uh, east to west through here and then to the side is a, a vast swamp called Buttonland Swamp. So just downstream from the swamp is a place called Cache Bayou Outfitters and uh, I used to be a guide there for a few years and uh, my buddy Mark uh, is running that place and you can do uh, kayak or canoe rentals there. Uh, he does guided tours, he's doing a full moon tour tonight. And Cache Bayou Outfitters, come and rent a boat, yeah. Tell them Banjo Joe sent you. Through April through October, I would guide out here uh, a few days out of the week, and uh, it's a lot of fun. It was a great job. You know, uh, uh, learned a lot about paddle skills. Was able to teach paddle instruction. You know, and uh, but really, I learned a lot about nature and uh, this unique ecosystem. And it's really cool to discover uh, all the wild and, and natural things in your area where you where you live, where you've raised, and. When you start really looking deeply at some of these things and below the surface of the water and, and at all the life that's out here, uh, you realize that, uh, you know, how small you are and how you're just really just another animal, another piece of this, uh, another piece of this puzzle, I guess, but. I chop them long, chop back a song, hold my pickup truck and then I chop some more. Call out a beer and I run to the store. I like the party boys when I do my chore. I drink my whiskey, take a stick out of the Today, uh, we're just out here, uh, just re revisiting with the cache and uh, looking for wildlife and we're gonna enjoy uh, an evening paddle and uh, see if we can uh, catch the full moon and just watch a beautiful sunset out here and uh, enjoy ourselves paddling in the cache. You know, this area was first explored by the French. They named it the Cache River before and it's, it means a place to hide things or a place, a hidden place, you know, and it kind of is a hidden place especially because it's hard to get to unless you've got a boat and uh, a small boat really too because some of these trails are really narrow through the brush but but it's a beauty and I, uh, I love coming down here I'm so glad that I worked here as a guide and I learned a lot about uh, nature and as a, a boatman too so 
This is a beautiful Eagle Pond right here. They say this is a naturally formed pond. Uh, it's believed there's a fault line under here. You know, we're, we're uh, near what they call the New Madrid Fault, a uh, big earthquake back in uh, 1811 or 12, something like that. But uh, they think this land uh, is a sunk land, a collapsed land from uh, the earthquakes. And I think that's how Real Foot Lake Tennessee formed from earthquake activity too. It's all along the New Madrid Fault. So they think this Eagle Pond's been here for thousands of years. Pretty cool. So th these cypress trees are ancient. This one behind me is uh, about a thousand years old probably. And uh, it's got 209 knees. Uh, they're really cool. They're the part of the root system that sticks up out of the water. And uh, there's also a water tupelo out here. Uh, it's got fruit on it right now. Really cool tree. So the button bush is blooming right now. It's a beautiful place. It's a good, if you love nature, the Cache River is really a place to be. Champion Tupelo is here over at uh, the Section 8 Woods area. And the Champion Cypress is here, and the Champion uh, Cherry Bark Oak is up by Heron Pond, too. I think uh, the, the Paw Paw Champ and a few of the other state champion trees are down here. I think there's seven. Uh, state champion trees are considered the largest specimen in the state. There's a lot of them down here around the Cache River in southern Illinois. The Cache River is the last major tributary to the Ohio River, so it comes out down around Mound City. Uh, we'll leave a link to uh, where we pass through uh, Mound City uh, on our last one of our last episodes. But uh, that's where the mouth of the Cache River comes out. A lot of wildlife here. Uh, this is uh, the coastal plain, you know, so there's also three other uh, physiographic provinces that join here. And so we have a lot of plants and animals from all four regions. It makes it a really biodiverse uh, ecosystem. Uh, there's over a hundred threatened and endangered species here at the Cache River. And uh, a lot of them are birds, and that's really what this wetland is about. Uh, it's a rest, rest area and a stopover for migrating birds. We're here on the Mississippi Flyway and uh, so waterfowl use this every year. It's a really cool place to go out to. A lot of people come from around the country to, to uh, bird watch here. Uh, the neotropical warblers migrate up here every spring. Uh, the prothonotary warbler is one, and uh, a lot of rare birds. You know, we get uh, a lot of the shore birds and wading birds from the coast uh, come all the way up here, like the fish crow and the uh, egrets. And uh, also the black vulture, which is really a southern species, is found up here. So we're going to paddle on. We're going to just do a loop around. And uh, I know this swamp really well, so I know the whole trail system. I come down to the swamp sometimes, catch frogs, put them in a basket I got. I like frogs. They say there's a Sasquatch down here. Well, paddle on and stay cool, man. <laughs> Was that a new tagline? Stay
the Cash River is a mighty river. I'll do a little shug for you. Yes. <laughs> oh, the Cash River. Can you canoe? Can you canoe? Can you canoe? Okay, that doesn't work. <laughs> 